Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding number of unique subjects taught by each teacher and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Cape Gemini interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. Right, we are given a table called teacher with three different columns, teacher ID, subject ID, department ID. The combined column subject ID and department ID is the primary key for this table. Each row in this table indicates that the teacher with the teacher ID teaches the subject subject ID in the department department ID. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of unique subjects each teacher teaches in the university, not each department, right? So in the university, the order of the result does not matter. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have two different teachers, right? Teacher ID 1 and teacher ID 2. So teacher ID 1, how many unique subjects teacher ID 1 teaches in the entire university? So in one university, there can be different departments, right? So it does not matter for this, right? Different department IDs. So teacher ID 1 teaches uh, two unique subjects, right? 2 and 3. Teacher ID 2 teaches 1, 2, 3, 4. So four different unique subjects, right? And that is what we are going to have in the output, right? So if you think about it, it is very simple, right? All you have to do is from this teacher's table, if you can group by the teacher's ID and then count the number of distinct subject IDs, right? And that is what you are going to have, right? Each teacher, the number of unique subjects they teach, right? So let's start developing this query. So if we write from this teacher table, right? From this teacher table, if we group by, right, the teacher ID, right, group by teacher ID and return the teacher ID, right, return the teacher ID and then what we are doing in, since we need to count the number of unique subjects, right, so we write count distinct because unique subjects, right, count distinct subject, subject ID right and since the output should be aliased at cnt right count so as cnt and since we don't need to order this in any order right so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases Okay, so this is accepted and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All we had to do was, you know, to understand, okay, so for each of the teacher, we need to find out the number of unique subjects. So what all we did was group by teacher ID and for each of the group, we counted a number of distinct subject IDs, right? And alias this as CNT and since there was no order by required for this, so we uh, returned the output and this is what we get, right? So I hope this video is useful. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of doing this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.